first experiment using seven segment display interface which we have in our microprocessor lab is to display the messages fire and help with a small delay between both the messages so for this purpose we'll be using a common cathode interface so before we actually write the program we'll have to be writing a seven segment display table for each of the characters f i r e and h e l p which corresponds to which of the segments are activated for each letter among a b c d E F G along with decimal point. Here you can see a diagram of the seven segment interface using which we will be writing the table for a seven for a common cathode interface corresponding to the letters that we want to display on the seven segment. And the control word that we will be using for this particular program will be ATH. We need to configure A255 to operate in such a way that port A, port B and port C out of which port C is being used as two 4-bit ports. So all the three ports will be acting as output ports. So this can be done by uh, configuring the control word as ATH. Now coming to the actual program within the data segment we will be defining the uh, seven segment codes for the letters F, I, R, E in the reverse order. So E, co e corresponds to a seven segment code of 86. R corresponds to 88H I corresponds to F9H and F corresponds to 8EH we will be writing this in the reverse order because we will be using the concept of a push and a pop instruction for the, where the letters first saved on the stack will be the last ones to be removed or to be drawn out from the stack so now We can also initialize the number of times that uh, the display of fire and help has to be repeated which will be stored in the register BH. Okay. And between each uh, time the entire message is, dis is displayed, we will be using a delay procedure as well as a display procedure. So we are using a delay procedure using the concept of nested loops. So the delay generated by the inner loop will be multiplied by the number specified in the outer loop. Now coming to the actual, uh, coming to the actual, uh, coming to the actual uh, output of the program. Now here you can see that when we have pre uh, when we have typed debug fire.exe so basically an assembly language program consists of three files dot asm dot uh, obj and dot exe so we have assembled the asm file we have linked the obj file and now we are using a debug command we have executed the uh, fire and help program so the output is ex uh, is expected as shown uh, so here we have fire and after a finite delay we have the next message called help. You can